What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to create the muzzle flash gunshot effect. This effect is honestly super easy. I see it used in a lot of different videos. Specifically, I see it used in the New York drill style of videos. This video is going to be sponsored by my editing packs. You guys supported me through my packs is what allows me to keep going. I just want to thank you guys so much. I have a link to those in the description below. But yeah, let's hop straight into it. Right here in Premiere Pro, I just got a clip from the Get Back video where he waves his hand around and we're going to go ahead and turn this into the finger gun effect. All you're going to need is to go ahead and download a muzzle flash. So I've just got this muzzle flash from YouTube. I just dragged in and I'll have a link to this in the description below if you guys want to use this yourself. But basically, what it is, is just a muzzle flash. What we're going to go ahead and do is just click on it, go to the effect controls and set the blend mode to screen. So that way it kind of overlays on top of our clip like that. Next, I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. We're going to go ahead and mark every time we want it to shoot. So I want to shoot like maybe right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit M on my keyboard and that's going to make a marker on our sequence. I'm just going to scrub through and I might want to shoot again here. So I'll hit M and then as I'm scrubbing through, I might want to shoot again right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit M again. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place my muzzle flash right where I want it to happen. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the beginning so that way the first frame of the muzzle flash is right where it explodes. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and animate the position and scale so that it lines up with his finger. Right there looks good. I might scale it down a little bit. Then I'm just going to go ahead and hold option and drag up and uh, make a duplicate copy. On the second marker, I'm just going to go ahead and move it over to where his finger is. Hold option, drag up, go to the third marker and adjust the muzzle flash. Playing that back, you can see we already have that super sick effect where he's shooting at the camera i think it just looks super cool it literally took us like one minute now, obviously you guys can make this a little bit nicer and add some extra sauce i'm gonna teach you guys how to do that now create a new adjustment layer i'm just gonna drag this adjustment layer over all of these layers now going to my effects i'm gonna go ahead and grab levels and drag that on my adjustment layer right where i'm gonna go to where the first shot is and i'm gonna go ahead and keyframe the rgb white value actually gonna go one frame back and keyframe that value and go one frame forward i'm just gonna turn this down a little bit and as you can see it just makes it a little bit brighter and i'm gonna go all the way to where the next clip is i'm gonna go one before and set this back to 255 and where it explodes i'm going to turn it down a little bit then go over to where the next shot is one before set it to 255 and turn it up a little bit and then let it fade out and i'm going to set it back to 255 at the end now playing that back you can see we just have a little bit of flash with the muzzle flash and it really just brightens up the whole scene when it does explode and i think it really just adds a little bit of realism to this effect it looks super sick finally what we can do is add some shakes and i think i'm gonna add some subtle shakes what i'm gonna do is just drag an adjustment layer on top of all these again i'm just gonna go right where it explodes gonna go one two three frames back and then one two three frames forward and make a six frame long adjustment layer copy this adjustment layer and make adjustment layers on top of all three of these different flashes then on all three of these adjustment layers i'm just gonna throw different shakes on from the essentials pack so on the first one i'll throw a diagonal subtle on the second one, I'm going to throw the horizontal subtle. On the third one, I'm going to throw the vertical subtle. Now playing that back, you can see it just really adds some energy to the effect and ties together this finger gun effect. If you guys want to check out the music video essentials, I have a link to them in the description below. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Follow me on Instagram, join the Discord. See you guys in the next one. Later.